Hey guys, what's up? Shin 55 here, back with another drawing video. Um, today's drawing video is going to be um, Sir Vamp Lawless. I don't know if that's his name or the anime it's from. I don't know who this character is, but I looked it up on Google and this picture popped up. So this is what we're drawing today. Uh, and also, this was this video was requested by um, Galaxy and the Withered LOL. Thank you so much for your request. I hope you enjoyed. He's actually a cool looking character. And, and also, fun fact, my ink pen, um, like, died, like, drawing this. So that's why he's, like, shaded in and, like, pencil. And, like, Inktober of all months for your ink pen to die. That's a bad omen. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, get your pencils ready and, um, let's jump in. Alright guys, let's get started here. Um, basically what we're going to want to start off with doing is drawing a big circle. Kind of like most drawings we do. So we're going to get a big circle like that, keep it light. And then um, we're going to draw the crosshairs. So it's going to be something like this. And then he's kind of looking like up and at an angle, so this line will be something like that. And then of course you'll get the whole kind of like jaw thing going up and over like that. <clears throat> and then he's going to have like a neck. It's going to be pretty long, so <clears throat> something like this. And I mean kind of gesture in, kind of where his... um like chest and shoulders are going to be right here. And that's pretty much good for the gesture that we need. Nothing too crazy. So now we can start jumping into detail. I'm going to zoom in just a bit. <clears throat> so I like starting off with his head shape first. And basically for his head shape, it's just kind of um like a straight line going down like this. And then it kind of curves in and over and kind of gets to like a point about here and then this point kind of curves over and up and then kind of follows the jawline that we have here like that actually there's, there's a little bit too much of a curve on the bottom here so you want there to be like a curve but you really want to make it subtle Yeah, that's better. So we got that down. Now I like to draw on his nose, which his nose is going to kind of right, be right on the center line here. And it's just a line going down and over like this. And then a line going down. And then you get like a little U shape kind of right here. And you can shade this in if you want. This would be black. <coughs> now we can get in his smile. Which is smiles pretty easy. Um, basically, you start with like kind of like a little curve line like that, and then you curve it up. It kind of stays straight, and then kind of curves up again like that. This line curves down and over, and then kind of curves up into here like that. And to make it look like he's smiling and like happy, um, you keep these little. You make a like. Like these come to a point. If these were rounded, it'd look more like angry. And then once we got that down, we can kind of draw in a kind of curve line like this going across. And then just two spikes coming out of it. There's one. There's two. And then a big curve line like that. And you can kind of shade this part in. Again, shading like the areas that are like complete completely black, like in as you like kind of go, make it look a little bit more finished. And once we get that down, we kind of draw in his eyes, which would be here and like here. But his eyes are closed, which just it makes it super easy. So basically, what you're gonna do is just draw a curve line, like that there, and another curve line here, like that. And then we're going to make them a lot thicker. So I could zoom in a little bit. 
So basically off this curve line, we're going to draw another curve line that kind of hugs it like this. And you get like little three little spikes in the bottom here. <clears throat> and then you can shade that in. Same thing on this side. Curve line, hugging, three spikes, shade it in. And then to give his eyes a little bit more depth, we're going to draw a curve line right here. And another curve line kind of going around like this. This is for his like top eyelid. So up and then over like that. And now he also wears glasses. So to kind of gesture that in, we're going to draw a square <clears throat> or really a rectangle like that. And we're going to draw two curve lines that kind of connect like this. And then basically for the rim of his glasses, what it is, is just kind of like this small, thin rectangle. That goes all the way around and up. And then same thing on this side, just a small, thin rectangle. That kind of follows the edge of the glasses. Like that. And you get like one hard line going across. Same thing here. And also for this one, it's going to go into the ear. But it's just two parallel lines. Like that. And speaking about the ear, we could draw that in now. And it's basically just kind of like this oval. That goes across and in like this. Find the shape a little bit more. And then just for the ear um, details, it's a curve line that kind of hugs the ear and then goes in like this. And then this one starts here. You kind of get like a shape like that. And you just get another little curve line here. That's pretty good for the ear detail. Now we zoom out a little bit. We could start drawing in the hair now. And basically for the hair, it's going to start, I'd say, about here. And just kind of go around like that. And then kind of go around into that. So it'll be about that big. But before we start drawing out the outside, we're going to start with his bangs. And basically he has like one bang that's in front. So we're going to draw a big curve line like this. It's going to curve over and down. It kind of has like a little S-curve to it. It's going to curve up. And get another little spike here. And curve over and in. And then there's like another little spike here that goes like this. I'm going to kind of erase some of the overlap just to make it a little bit more clear. Like that. And now um, basically what you're going to want to do is just kind of draw little spikes going off. Kind of keep them curvy. So here's one. There's no like exact way of doing it. There's two. So don't fret if it doesn't look exactly like mine. As long as you still kind of got the basic shape of like what's going on, it'll look good. And then this one, you have one kind of long spike here that kind of goes over the glasses. It kind of goes in, and you get kind of like a kind of big curve line. It stops about here, kind of goes over. Another one, a little spike. This one kind of curves in like this. And then here, um, he also has like another little patch that kind of goes out a little bit. So draw that. It's going to start about here. Again, kind of keep consistent with the kind of the same shapes we've been going going with, like that. <clears throat> and now we can just do his outside hairs hit, which is pretty easy. Um, there's like a little indent about here, and basically what you're gonna do is kind of follow the shape that we have here, but just draw really big kind of wavy spikes like this. <clears throat> Kind of going off. And then like here they're going to start angling down. Like 
and stop about there. Like that. And this one, exact same thing, just going in the other direction. Like that. And then also for um his hair, he actually has like um black highlights. So to draw that, um you basically just draw kind of like spiky like rigid lines like this. And he's gonna have one here. And I'll shade that in just to make it clearer. Just do a quick one. So it's like black in front of his face. Right here, there's another one here. like that and the last one's right here on this little patch there we go <clears throat> that's pretty much it for his head now we could draw in his neck <clears throat> which is next pretty simple it's just basically just a line going down and it just kind of curves in right here this line will start a little bit before his chin right here and go down and just kind of curve in like this and then you're gonna get um, this big kind of U shape that kind of follows the bottom of his jaw you could shade that in as well in fact this would be a good um, good piece to do for Inktober because like it looks really good in black and white Again, just real quick, sketch that in. Now to kind of draw like the rest of his body. <clears throat> um, we're gonna start about here on the neck, kind of where like this point meets the neck. And draw a line curving out and then over. And it's gonna go down like this. And then we're gonna get another line that kind of hugs this line and kind of goes into like a V. And it's gonna go over kind of go into like a spike here and just curve down and then from this line we're going to just draw a curve line that curves up and over where the neck is like that and then here we're going to just connect this in to there like that that's the collar of his shirt and then this line is going to start about here curve over kind of spike down like this and then about here, we're going to just get another curve line. It's going to curve down and in. Like that. And then just for like his chest and everything, um, there's a curve line here for his neck. And then kind of like right here, like in the center, we're going to draw a curve line curving up and then over. And then another one here, curve up and then over. Like that. And then he also wears a scarf, so to draw that, we're going to just draw kind of like a curve line here. And then we're going to start about here and draw another little curve line. Kind of waving over and in like that. And here we're going to draw kind of like a wavy line. And it's going to be wavy because like the scarf's like fold, like it's like fabric, so it's like folding over on itself. So to draw that, you draw very wavy lines, kind of like overlapping each other like this and then curve this one over and in curve in and over start about here like that and then you can kind of get like one or two um, little curve lines just kind of in the middle of it like that and that is pretty much how you draw um lawless from servamp or servamp lawless again i don't know who this character is or what he's from so forgive me if i'm like that's not his name or i don't even know what his name is i just typed it on google and this is what popped up so um anyway guys thank you so much for watching oh i forgot almost forgot here's the sketch that we did here's a more inked version where if you're taking ink pen erase all the guidelines and um, you're left with uh, what you have on the left here. 
So, um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again, um, Galaxy and the Withered LOL for the request. Um, if you guys have any requests, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Uh, I basically take your name and what you requested, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just what I feel like drawing that day. So, um, anyway, guys... Uh, also remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Really helps me out. Share the video, all that stuff. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.